Hello, today I will sketch the inverse function, find the range for a given domain, which is the examiner's favorite question that many of you find it difficult. And this is the inverse function. To do that, I need to find the vertical. This function is defined whenever the denominator must not be zero. So 3x plus one equals zero, x equals minus a third. And that is the vertical asymptote. To find the horizontal asymptote, I find the limit. So the limit, whenever x tends to infinity, of 2x minus 6 over 3x plus 1. So that's equal. The limit, whenever x tends to infinity, I'm dividing each term of the quotient by x. So it will be 2 minus 6 over x over 3 plus 1 over x. These two terms, whenever x tends to infinity, they tend to 0. So the horizontal asymptote y is equal to 2 over 3. To sketch the graph, I need to decide on the orientation of the graph. x equals 0, y is equal to minus 6. y is equal to 0, x equals 3. So now let's sketch the graph. I have now sketched the vertical asymptote, x equals minus a third, and the horizontal asymptote, y is equal to two thirds, which we found them above. I also plot the point where it cuts the x-axis and the y-axis, and now I sketch the graph. So that's the graph sketched. I can now answer any question, find the range for the domain x higher or equal than 1. For x equals 1, y is equal to minus 1. And it's this part of the graph, the corresponding part of the y, it's that here. So therefore, f of x should be higher or equal than minus 1 and smaller than 2 thirds. You will notice that 2 thirds is the asymptote, cannot be equal to. So now let's answer another question. Let's find the inverse of that function. I rearrange that function to make x the subject. So x equals minus 6 minus y over 3y minus 2. x equals 6 plus y over 2 minus 3y. The inverse function is 6 plus x over 2 minus 3x. And of course, the range of it, it will be 2 over 3 as before, because the domain of the function is the range of the inverse and vice versa. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.